today is uh, Mrs Michelle Phillips, who has asked to speak to the Chamber on the Malbray Park redevelopment and the demolition of the former East Brisbane's Bowls Club. Um, Mrs Phillips, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you can stand or sit depending on your preference. Um, and your, <laughs> your five minutes starts when uh, the microphone is turned on. Thank you. Thanks, Mrs Phillips. Mr Chair, Lord Mayor and Councillors, I'm here to represent Save Our Bolo and the community throughout Cooper Reward and beyond who want to, you to re reconsider your intention to demolish the East Brisbane Bowls Club. Lord Mayor, we are not a fake campaign. We're a broad church politically. We're a grassroots community group trying to save our club. As Lord Mayor and Treasurer, I invite you to come down and meet the people and small businesses who will be affected by the loss of this facility. Now, the Schooner team have repeatedly argued that the club should be demolished for green space. We all know the bolo is smack bang on Lytton Road. It's next to six lanes of traffic. Knocking it down will not create usable green space, but it will destroy a highly activated community asset at great cost. 80% of this site is already green space, but Council heavily restricts use of the greens, refusing requests to open them up to sporting groups or stage markets, and signage is also banned. No wonder it is seen as underutilised. We've seen the February draft plan developed in response to community feedback. It shows a new facility and the car park moved to the greens. This proves community did not ask for removal of the facility. In fact, alternative plans have been proposed by community members. Dan Clifford from Urban Art Projects has designed a cultural destination from the strong bones of the bolo, cantilevering down to the park to create indoor-outdoor pavilions. Um, and this design would cost less than the demolition to execute. Mr Chair, <clears throat> we note that the second round of consultation uh, notes 88 calls for demolition. Um, how can we trust this when it is so at odds with the first cons consultation and when this council has been caught using staffers to manipulate consul uh, uh, cons consultation outcomes on other matters? Community spaces are increasingly rare. There are waiting lists across all existing facilities. Yet you plan to demolish a venue that is highly activated by a diverse range of community groups, individuals and DIY arts enterprises, hosting over 6,000 artists and nearly 45,000 um, patrons over the last five years. Our Bolu is the East Brisbane community hub, close to public transport, connected to the valley, but not in the valley. It provides a safe haven to diverse groups and a social lifeline to isolated individuals in, the, in this inner city, um, uh, the inner south city fringe. I have worked across human services for the last 25 years in this community, and I've seen how critical such spaces are in connecting people and keeping them safe. And this is a safe haven for our young people, for elders, for the LGBTI community members and people with disabilities. It's actually the only DIY music venue in Brisbane that has disability stage access. Not many of the commercial ones do either. Young people who grew up in East Brisbane say the Bolo is a welcoming space where they come to hang out and participate without feeling obliged to buy drinks. The history of the Bolo goes back to 1905. This site has seen continuous use as a rec recreational space since then, with significant community social events documented across that time. Live music has been an emerging thread in the rich cult cultural history of the club. Local Briz bands benefited, have benefited from the opportunity to move from practice rooms and underhouse shows to playing on a real stage to a paying crowd. John Patterson played his first gig with the greats in 2003 in the Bolo. He's gone on with fellow artists to set up the wildly successful pub choir, which I'm sure most of you have heard of. The building is solid, it's soundproof, it's relatively low maintenance. It's widely recognised as having excellent acoustics. Of course it does. It was purpose built to accommodate the recreational life of this community. Aussie icon uh, Chad Morgan played a few weeks ago to a full house. He said it was a lovely place to play and called on Brisbane City Council to save it. We are not representing Backbone here, but we're aware they've agreed to move to a less suitable home with the, within the old Seven Hills TAFE, which will not support live music. It's five, sorry, four metres from an aged care home. We invite councillors to meet with the community enterprises, artists and patrons who will be displaced with removal of this community asset. 
three Mowbray Park buildings were rated as not architecturally significant in 2016, but architecture is just one heritage criteria. We call on Brisbane City Council to review this significance and consider the social and cultural value of this facility. It is not so easily replaced or removed. To settle matters, please conduct a third community consultation assessment, an open process this time, a genuine process. Finally, please come down and meet with community members. We have 2,500 social media followers at the moment. It's building every day. It's growing as people see that council is not listening. Mrs Phillips, your time has expired. Thank you very much. Um, the chair would like to respond. Councillor Davis. Stay, stay there. Oh. And just turn off your mic, please. Be... Just push the button. Thank you. Councillor Davis. Oh, well, thank you, Mr Chair, and uh, good afternoon, Mrs Phillips. My name is Tracy Davis, and I'm the Civic Cabinet Chair for the Environment, Parks and Sustainability Committee, and thank you for taking the time uh, to come in uh, to present to Council today. Uh, we do recognise that uh, Brisbane residents living close to a park is very, very important, and Mowbray Park is valued not only for its heritage values and its proximity to the Brisbane River, but as an inner city parkland area, open green space is highly valued and highly contested. Um, as you mentioned in your contribution, Council undertook consultation with the community to hear their thoughts about the future of their local parkland uh, and the feedback that uh, was received from that consultation uh, is currently being considered. So I'd like to thank you again for coming in and sharing your thoughts and addressing the Chamber today. Thank you. Point of order, Mr Chair. Point of, oh, can't take points oh. of order out of debate, but I recognise you standing, Councillor Cook. Thank you, Mr Chair. I'd like to move the suspension of standing orders to allow me to move an urgency motion. Seconded. It's been moved by Councillor Cook and seconded by Councillor Cassidy that standing orders be suspended to allow for an urgency motion. Uh, Councillor Cook, you have three minutes to establish urgency. Thank you. And the urgency motion has been emailed, and it is that the Lord Mayor, Adrian Schrinner, urgently meets with the Save Our Bolo group. Do you want to... Mr Chair, this is urgent today because we have just heard from Michelle, who is a member, a genuine community representative of the Save Our Bolo group, who was asked to meet with the Lord Mayor. That hasn't been addressed by Councillor Davis today. She didn't even note the fact that she had made that request of this chamber. We also, Mr Chair, have new information today which makes this incredibly urgent and I want to table a document which is the Mowbray Park Draft Concept Plan Ideas, February 2021, based on community feedback. Mr Chair, this is urgent today because this new information and this plan and what we've heard from Michelle today sends a very clear message that this LNP administration had a draft concept plan back in February 2021 based on community feedback that included constructing a new community facility on this site, not demolishing it. This is urgent because someone, we don't know who, whether or not it was the Lord Mayor of this city, whether or not it was the local councillor and chair of parks at that time, Councillor Cunningham, or someone else who had completely ignored this plan and instead decided to bulldoze this site. This is not good enough. We have Michelle and other representatives from the group here today and watching online who want to speak with the Mayor directly about this issue and speak about the change to this concept plan. They want him to attend on site. They want him to explain to them in detail why these changes were made, why this plan that was based on community consultation was ignored and why this building is important to retain as part of the East Brisbane community. Today, we haven't had that commitment, which is why we are asking for him to urgently meet with the group. This is also urgent because one of the fundamental principles of any democracy is having transparency and accountability in decision-making. Here, we have the LNP administration wanting to bulldoze a community facility against the wishes of residents, and those same residents should be given the opportunity to meet with the mayor of this city to express those concerns. 
We have all heard the appalling slurs by this Lord Mayor, Adrian Schrinner, by Councillor Cunningham, the local councillor, by the Deputy Mayor of this city, Krista Adams, by the Chair of Public Transport, Councillor Ryan Murphy, directed at these residents, both here in the chamber and in public. It's on the public record. What the Lord Mayor and those councillors haven't had the guts to do is meet in person with these residents and speak to them face to face about these issues. This is urgent because these residents have waited long enough to be genuinely heard by this Mayor. They have come here today and asked to meet with him and again have been ignored. This LNP administration is not interested in listening. They would rather try to discredit, Cook, smear your, and abuse your time residents. time has expired. I now put the motion. All those in favour of this matter being urgent, please raise your hand and say aye. Aye. All opposed, please say, raise your hands and say no. No. The no's Division. have it. Division. Division has been called by Councillor Cook and Councillor Cassidy. Um, please ring the bells. We don't need to ring the bells, do we? Everyone's here? OK, let's go straight to the division. Um, we now, um, we've been, we're dividing on this motion. All those in favour of this matter being urgent, please say aye, raise your hands. All opposed say no and raise your hands. No. Clerks. Read the result, please. Mr Chair, the noes have it, the voting being seven in favour and 20 against. Thank you. <laughs> Councillors, we now move on to question time. Are there any questions uh, of, of, of the Lord Mayor? Councillor Johnston. Yes, 